Car, though. So watch out for cats, man. Check this out. Check this out. Where am I viewing, man? Wycom, Texas. They need to watch out for cats. Would you go back there? She's got cats. Cool car, man. That's a real cool car. Bro. Put some spinners on that, man. Real cool. Get a picture of me. Get a picture of me next time, man. Maybe try to get the get the Buick uh, emblem, man. It's a gangster ride right here. Get it lowered. Maybe chop the top off. Cool, man. Bring on the girls, man. I'm ready. Got a couple beers here. You can try my beers, man. But people like to drink, I got the beers. I'm ready, man. I called Becky like four times already. I said, hey, I'm having a, ha having a happening party. Come on, Becky. She knows that party. We're gonna show you some gun control. Gun safety. Whoa, whoa. Uh, now loaded. these these aren't loaded. loaded. We just got them out of the box, but we're gonna show you kind of the basics uh, to aiming and, and shooting a target. Uh, these are two old 38 specials. I it's like them because they got some special. they got some weight to them, uh, and they're a lot of fun. They're they're you know just just a little bit bigger than a 22, uh, which makes it, like I said, a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a couple Great targets. For shooting um, cans, of... bottles, um, play pigeons. We got no, a... no living animals though. Never. Uh, we've got a couple targets set up. And I was just telling Chris we're a little worried because if I miss. Or if I hit him, I'm afraid I'll hit something at the house. But he was saying it should be okay because there's some brick behind it. And because these are lower caliber, they should they be won't fine. They ricochet. Yeah, there's actually ivy growing that would actually stop the ricochet from even happening. So, so. We're, we're not too worried. But there, uh, it is it's a little totally windy safe. out. Uh, and the cans keep falling down. Yeah, so you want to have hearing protection. You want to have um, safety glasses. So once we start firing these puppies, we'll have it all on. Yep, yeah. jeans and uh, cowboy boots. Chaps, yeah. if you have them. Yeah, take take a lot of safety precautions. Gloves, leather gloves. All right, I'm gonna set some cans up. He's got one he's gonna set up now. We've got the hammer, uh, like a basic hammer action. Now, normally you wouldn't do this, but it, because... Oh. 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 I can't hear her. Oh my God, dude. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Hey, hey, dummy, dude, try out my store. store. Come on, you head. Buy more of my store. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five, 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 five dollars. Six bucks. Wow, that store is really full. That's some good deals too, wow. And there's lots and lots more. Wow. 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 Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Manly Men. 
I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. And a couple weeks ago we showed you how to uh, make a carving with chainsaws and earn yourself a little extra money. Senior citizens are great customers. They love chainsaw. They have a lot of spare time to shop and shop around and look for things. And they're a little too old to do it themselves. They usually have really big backyards. They need to fill it up. So we're going to show you how to fill it up and make a little bit of money. What more do senior citizens like than birds? So we're going to show you how to make a bird bath out of these old logs. Yep. Turn some old crummy logs into a bird bath that all the birds in your backyard can enjoy. It's serving two purposes. You're helping the senior citizens, you're helping the birds. You're helping birds get cleaned up. Well, three, because you're also making a little bit of money. It's true. A little extra cash in your pocket. Mom! Mom, move your car! That's my mom's bike, man. You looking at that bike like it's mine? It's not my bike, man. But it's a Schwinn. That's pretty dope. I think it's cost like $400 for a Schwinn bike. And then you see this car back here? There's not a lot to touch it, but sometimes, man, I'll like close next to it. Come here. Check this out. This is my, my dad's car. He keeps it here at my mom's, but I'm not allowed to touch it. But you know what? He's not here, man. I have to do what I want. It's a Rolls Royce. This car costs $100,000, man. I forgot my belt, man, but aren't these cool? These are new. Pretty cool, man. I normally have a belt that's studded. It's got blue, it's like blue, kind of like a sky blue and like hot pink, man. It's awesome, but the studs keep falling out. It's like 30 bucks to get a new one. So I was like, and I gotta get rid of this dumb cat litter thing, man. See all this? My mom's got so many cats, man. I gotta clean that out like, oh God, like once a month or something. It sucks. I get rid of all the cat food stuff. Get rid of all the cat stuff, man. I can't. Hair's everywhere too, man. I don't know, maybe I should make another phone call. Making a white Russian. White Russian. Very classic drink developed in Russia. So, uh, to get started, the first step, as always, on our program is admit that you are thirsty. God, I'm thirsty. I am extremely thirsty. Step number two find an appropriate basement low grade dwelling to serve as your drink making facility, preferably in the state of Missouri. Step number two, or excuse me, three. Step number three is secure an old fashioned glass with approximately three ice cubes in it. Normally we would place the ice cubes in the glass, but this has been provided for us by our gracious host. Step number four, Twirl the rocks glass in your hand to loosen the ice to the bottom of the glass. Very good point. I would have not uh, remembered that if you would have reminded me. You guys ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about my new product today. It's a time saver and it's for any businessman that is trying to get something done uh, during the day, which is practically everybody. What we've got today is a new product, it's revolutionary, and it'll change businesses across the globe. And the thing that it does best is it saves you time. That's one thing that you do not have enough in the office. You don't have enough time, you've got people working overtime, you've gotta pay for that overtime. So what we're gonna do is save you guys some money by introducing to you today a voice-activated printer. Now, uh, it's, it's, this is a prototype, but basically you'll get the idea and what happens is it'll print via print voice command activated sometimes you have to enunciate a little bit because uh, we haven't worked out all the kinks print page one which page would you like no. to print, print page one so it's a voice activated printer print page Printing one page 11 one 11 one print page Printing one page 20 Seven. Okay, so printing page okay. one. Okay, printing page one now. And another thing that you could do that's it's uh, it will print no matter what. So it'll print.
print your pages and the thing that you basically are doing as the orator or the uh, commander, I guess you could say, is you're telling it what pages to print. Printing nope. page no. one. Print page two. Printing you gotta keep it going, otherwise uh, it might get confused. So as you're typing, you're gonna want to tell what pages to print. Now I've got a 120 page document. Printing page And sometimes that takes time, but the thing is I could be 20. typing at the same time. I could, I could just type anything I want to. One. No, not one. One. No, can one. cancel. Cancel print. Print page print. three. Printing. And you gotta page really kind of announce it. Thirteen. Though. Print page three. Thirty-three. Print page three. Printing. Okay. Page three. Yes. Okay, that'll work. Step number five is secure a bottle of Kahlua liqueur. This is a rum and coffee liqueur. It was first developed in 1738 by Captain James A. Uh, Cook. James Cook. You're going to fill about a third of your glass full of Kahlua. It was actually developed in Costa Rica in the sea off the coast of Costa Rica by Captain James A. Cook in 1787. Step number six, you want to add half and half or whole skim almond or soy milk to the glass. It's worth noting that if we were in Germany and we were adding fresh milk, we would be referring to it as frische Milch. That's correct. There we go. Good. Choke it. I did. Prime. Flooded it. Did you flood? I smell gas. Did you flood it? Probably. Can we try it? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Can we try it? I got it. That's why you always go with electric. No start time. Go electric. So I could be cutting away while he's wasting his time trying to start that gas mower. The gas uh, chainsaw. <laughs> I'll catch up. Step number seven is add Smirnoff vodka. Smirnoff is one of the finer vodka, potato vodka. It is an award-winning potato-based vodka. It's absolutely wonderful. Triple char charcoal filtered vodka, purified with artisan water and artisanal springs from the Caucasus Mountains. Step number eight, you want to stir the mix with your index finger. I prefer the left finger because I'm left-handed. I opt out of the finger stirring and I just let the ice and the cream, the weight of the cream, sort of brush up against the vodka and the Kahlua. You'll see it's already sort of mixed. You do not, I repeat, do not want to use a shaker. For this. This must be gently stirred in order not to damage the fish milch. Step number nine is inspect the white Russian for any impurities. That's correct. If part of it has begun to coagulate, you're going to want to start the process. Yeah, you so you want to look for bits of dry evaporated milk, pubes, anything that might have been on the crust, the semen, things of that nature, things that might have. In Step number 10, clink glasses with a good Russian friend. Salute. Very good. Step number 11 is drink your white Russian.
but it was a good white Russian. Step number 12 is repeat step number 11. Also, it's worth mentioning in between step 11 and 12, you do not want to prematurely remove your milk mustache. This is a tradition that can be considered quite attractive in certain regions of the world. It's a very good point. It serves as a mating call. A mating, mating call in places like Columbia, Missouri, Clinton, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri, Sykeston, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, Tightwad, Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri, Tightwad, Missouri. Print page three. Thirty-three. Print page three. Uh, and, and we do also have a function on there that does multiple languages. So it can do uh, any language you would like it to do, basically. Um, the I don't know any other languages, so I can't show you that, but maybe we can get somebody else in here to kind of show you what it can do. Um, it'll switch. I know we've got uh, uh, Spanish is one Spanish of them. Spanish language no. engaged. I, no, English. English. En español activada. English. Erasing document. No, not erase. English. Spanish language uh, engaged. Sh- what's stop? Uh, stop by. Um, so yeah, I use the uh, Power Voice operated printer. Um, it's been you know pretty big hit around the office. Um, it works pretty well. Like for instance, um, I can get it to print the previous document. So print previous document. No command found. I love my voice activated printer. Print page one. Page one. Check check paper. Paper full. I'm, I'm sure, maybe it's out of ink or ink something. Full. So, uh, it's a good printer though. So, yes, it's a little buggy, but it will work better. Print page two. Printing hundred two. Not two. And then you gotta wait for it to print the wrong page. It was a 68030 base machine, which was in, built up from several different cards in our base 2000 machine. And what we've done with the 3000 is we've taken the, the general expansion cards that most people use and embedded them directly on the motherboard of the 3000. So, for example, uh, we have a hard disk controller built right onto the motherboard, 32 bits wide. We've got up to 16 megabytes of fast memory and 2 megabytes of chip memory directly on the motherboard. And we've got a display enhancer giving you better video output directly on the motherboard. All these things combined together, being the key peripherals that people used on 2500s, are integrated directly in the machine, and that allows us to bring the machine in at a lower cost for the consumer. Find more Computer Chronicles at Wonderdom.com. All right, you want to remember to leave a little bit of a ledge around the actually actual bird bath. That allows for the birds to hang out, maybe eat some seed, and uh, suntan a little. So we're going to go ahead and fill it up now. Let's go ahead and fill it up. See, now that holds a lot of water. That's going to be really handy for those birds. That's great. They're let the uh, let the foam of the water kind of settle down, surface tension will even out, and the uh, the birds will have a place to go and drink and get cleaned up. So one thing I did that's different than Chris, I left it a little shallower. I know that birds like to get their feet wet, but they don't like to get their wings wet. So what I've done is just made it a little shallower of a bird bath. Well, now it doesn't take very much beer to fill this one up or water. That's all I have. Uh, and so that way they can really just kind of enjoy some cold toes. Yeah. But then they let they leave their wings, you know, dry so they can fly away. Yeah. All right, as you can see here, we've had a pretty successful bird bath. Oops. Chris is just calling in a couple of them just bird, now. Yeah, birds from several neighborhoods. Uh, the, the word's getting out, and uh, they're starting to. Uh, to come in and use Jay's bird bath. Now we might just got lucky that we're in the migration path. I don't know, but it seems that uh, they're loving the bird bath. Yeah, they are. So uh, let's take a look at how well Chris's did, but mine obviously has done just fine. Yeah, lots of birds. No. All right. Good morning. We, so uh, we're back out here checking up on the uh, bird bath that I made, and we happen to find these uh, eagle feathers around it. We're not sure, but we think that this one can summon eagles. 
could be i'm not sure if it's a golden eagle or a bald eagle but definitely an eagle was drinking out of the bird bath that i carved which is pretty exciting pretty um, damn cool pretty, so really for 150 you could summon an eagle pretty manly i'd say we've got um three different types of birds here uh and we know that it also uh drew an, an eagle so this this one could probably draw within like four different types of birds yep probably were some falcons as well maybe some uh some morning doves a hawk chicken hawk so, so my pool is a little bit deeper than... Um, and it obviously draws a little bit more birds, but... Yeah, so it's like if you can't fly with the big birds, go to Jay's uh, bird bath. If you want to swim in the deep end, come to my bird bath. Yeah, one thing we also didn't know was that um, unlike concrete bird baths, wood bird baths are porous. So the water soaks in pretty quickly, so you got to keep... Um, Popping open a can and putting more water in. But once you, I'm guessing once you get to a certain point, it can only absorb so much water. Where's the rest gonna go? So you let it absorb all the water, water it can, and then you're good to go. A waterlogged log is not gonna take on any more water. It's true. Okay, that's our show for today. Hope you learned a little something about watercolor, landscapes, Jet skis.